Hey guys, what's up? It's Sam. Today we are going to talk about 50 gift ideas under $50. So I've already made videos for gift guides for him, her, and $25 under $25. So go check those out if you haven't seen them already. Everything that I'm about to talk to you guys about will be linked in the description box down below. And all my blog posts for 50 under 50, I will also put the link to that in the description box. So that way, if you want to follow along while we're going through the video, or if you would rather look at it online and just click the links that way, you're more than welcome to do that as well. But we have a lot to cover today so we're gonna get right into it if you like this video and you want to see more from me please make sure to like and subscribe and to follow me on instagram and tiktok i will put my handles on the side leading up until christmas i will be posting a lot of sales and deals on there as well so definitely check those out okay, if you see me looking down at my phone at all i'm actually gonna read directly off the blog post that i made so that way i can stay in order and keep track of everything all right here goes nothing item number one on the list is a jbl clip speaker so i got one of these for my dad for father's day and it was the best gift that i've ever gotten him out of anything I've gotten him throughout the years. So this speaker, I actually saw it the first time on one of my modeling sets and one of the photographers had it and everywhere we went on set, they would just clip it to anything that was around us and the speaker was so loud. It's under $50 and it works just as well as any other speaker I've seen. I think this is perfect for anyone that likes to go to the beach maybe. It's great for my dad when he works outside and does yard work and stuff like that. So this is definitely a great gift. It's great for a college student as well. I literally know some people that will like clean their house and take these around around with them so that way the music moves with them. I mean, the possibilities are endless with the clippable speaker. So I think this is a great find for anyone. Second item on the list is a hydro flask. I literally use this constantly every single day. I've gone through about probably three hydro flasks and I keep rebuying them. The only time I have to rebuy them is if I lose them or leave them somewhere. So I've only rebought them because dumb things that I've done, but I swear they last forever. They keep your water so cold. I drink so much more water when I have one of these. I lost mine from like July until a month ago and I finally reordered one, like bit the bullet and did it. And I was like, what have I been doing for this long? Not drinking water like this. Like it really is such a game changer. Highly recommend if you don't have one. Number three, is a blanket hoodie. When I asked my friends what I should put on this list, all of them agreed that this is such a great gift idea. I have a friend that is in nursing school right now and she literally wears this to study all the time. This is perfect for a movie night. It's perfect to just chill and you can walk around the house and not get tangled up like how you do in a blanket and it has the same effect. So I love this idea. Okay, number four is a planner. I've been using the Erin Condren planner for the last three years. This is what mine looks like. You can personalize it. It has my name on it. I think that this is the best planner I've ever used and it's called the Life Planner and I actually just ordered one yesterday for 2022. You can totally personalize it to how you want. I'm trying to find an empty page to show you guys. Personally, I like mine set up hourly. So I don't know if you guys can see this. I have hourly slots per day throughout the week and that works really well for me. I can write little notes on the side and it's just a very good way to keep track of everything. I think this is the planner that's kept me the most organized throughout my life. So highly recommend Erin Condren planner. Number five, self tanner. I think this is more towards girls, but obviously whatever gender you are, if you like to tan, do you? Personally, I like Loving Tan the best. I think Loving Tan and St. Tropez are the two best on the market. I heard Bonnie Sands has good ones as well. I haven't really tried that one yet, but especially for me, like obviously the winter is the palest time of year. So a self tanner is something that's always a great gift, I think, and a good thing for your stocking. Number six, the Revlon Blow Dry Brush. When I got this, I think two years ago, it really changed my hair so much. Every time I do a blowout with this, I always get compliments on my hair. People ask me how I do it. I really think this tool is awesome it kind of styles your hair and blow dries it in the same beat so you save time and usually what I do is I wait till my hair is like just damp not sopping wet and I use it and it takes no time at all it's really really quick highly recommend if you're on the go and you like to style your hair number seven a tripod so I linked a tripod I actually have two of as you guys know I take a lot of my own photos for Instagram and everything like that and this is hands down the best tripod I've ever found I actually found this through another blogger and I ordered it off of her link and it was so good that I had to order a second one so if you know anyone that's into social media or photography or anything like that, I think that a tripod is a really great gift idea. It's one of those things that is so helpful when you're taking pictures, even for a trip, a family vacation or something. I love my tripod. I travel with it everywhere I go. Everywhere I go, I bring this in my suitcase seriously. So I think for the price, it's the absolute best one. Number eight is an air fryer. So I've used the air fryer more this year than probably any other kitchen appliance. The air fryer is just so 
quick. It makes food taste really good in my opinion. That's how I like my food most of the time. I like roasting vegetables in there, make tofu in there. I'll put chickpeas in there to put on salads and I just think it is the best thing in the kitchen if you don't have one or you're shopping for a loved one who you don't think has one. These are top tier and such a great gift idea. Number nine is a humidifier. Humidifiers, um, I feel like I had one when I was younger but I want another one. They're really good for moisturizing your skin and keeping your skin, not moisturizing your skin, what? They're really good for keeping your skin hydrated in the winter time and it's also really good for people with allergies. I have really bad seasonal allergies and it helps a lot with that too. And it's also very good for keeping your respiratory system healthy and everything like all your lungs and all that junk. It's good at that as well. Next on the list, I have an air filter. So I got one of these for Christmas, um, I think two years ago. I will link the one that I have as well. It's a little more pricey than $50. The one that I also have linked is 50 bucks. I've always had bad allergies and my parents got me this for Christmas and it really did make such a big difference for me in my room. I would just turn it on where I went to sleep and it circulates the air and gets a lot of dust and germs out. And I really do think that that's been a big factor in me getting sick a lot less. Okay, and then we have a weighted blanket. If you're shopping for someone and you need to get them something a little bit bigger, literally, I don't know what I did before my weighted blanket. I use it every single night. I get such a better sleep with it. If you know someone that has anxiety or struggles with that, weighted blankets are also very beneficial for people that toss and turn in their sleep or have trouble falling asleep. All of my friends that have these absolutely love them. Similar to the weighted blanket, I have a heated blanket. So I think for the winter time, this is such a great gift idea. There's already been nights that have been cold enough where I've been like, wow, I really wish I had a heated blanket right now. And yeah, there's like nothing much more to say about that, honestly. Like a heated blanket for the winter time rocks. Then we have a laptop stand. This is the one that I got for Christmas last year. This is a perfect gift for anyone that works from home. I use this daily for my laptop if I'm working at my desk or if I'm in my bed working. I know you're really not supposed to do that because of your back and everything, but this definitely helps too. If anyone has like shoulder pain, neck pain, back pain type situations and they work at a desk all day, these are very helpful for that as well. This one's like a rose gold color, I think. I linked this exact one. Alrighty, and then we have a clothing rack. I think a clothing rack is obviously a very functional yet aesthetic thing to have in your room. If you're shopping for a girl maybe who just got her room redone or is into fashion, I think a clothing rack is a great gift. Next on my list is a Herschel bag. A lot of people that shopped on my gift guides last year bought these for their boyfriends and said that they absolutely loved them. I think that this bag is super gender neutral and a perfect bag for a carry-on or like a weekender. Kind of similar to the Herschel bag, but a backpack version. I put the Jansport backpack. I think that these are the OG of backpacks. I've had plenty of these throughout the years. You can literally never go wrong with these. They come in a million colors and for school, traveling, anything, these are so useful. Then I have flip-flops. I think if you're gonna get somebody flip-flops, rainbows are the best way to go. I've had my rainbows for years and once you break them in, they are the most comfortable flip-flop. I love mine and they have them for girls and guys in all sorts of colors and styles. I think that these are the absolute best flip-flops in the market. Highly recommend if your guy or girl does not have a pair. Even though it's Christmas time, I think it's still a great idea to get people things they can use in the summer. So, yeah. Next up is a portable charger. So I ran into a lot of times this year where a portable charger would have been very helpful for me. Um, a portable charger is just a great gift for, like I said before, a college student or traveler or literally anyone. Not only is this great for convenience, but it's also very thoughtful safety wise. Like personally, I have a lot of castings in New York and obviously if I'm in a city alone, I should never have a dead phone. It's just like not safe. So I think it's always good to have access to something to charge your phone and these are super helpful. Okay, and then I have a ring light. Obviously, I'm recording using a ring light right now. Because of my job and social media, I use my ring light literally all the time. But I think that even if someone isn't into social media or TikTok or whatever, a ring light can be very helpful for anyone that works from home. A lot of people have been transitioning onto working from their laptops. And if someone has an important meeting or an important interview, it is very important to make sure that they can see you and you're taking things seriously. So a ring light is great for any business professional as well. I really don't think it's limited to just like the selfie like type of community. I think that now with the virtual world that we're living in, everyone really could use one. Okay, and then I have a light therapy lamp. I've been wanting one of these for so long. I'm a type of person that really gets down bad with seasonal depression once in a while, and I think that having a therapy light in my room might really be a game changer. Um, I've read really great reviews on them. I don't know anyone that has one personally, but the podcast I listen to, they talk about this a lot, so I think that this might be like a really cute little thoughtful gift to get for a loved one. Oh my gosh, this back and shoulder massager literally basically 
basically broke the internet for the past two years for Christmas gifts. Every big blogger that I follow was talking about how great this was, so I ended up getting one for my dad, and they were not lying. Let me tell you, this is such a great gift, especially when you don't know what to get someone. This thing rocks. I had like a pretty bad neck injury in the beginning of 2021 and this thing really helped me. And not only does it like hang around this way and you like put your arms through it, it really does like get the knots out and it's also heated. So love that thing. Next up is a Wi-Fi extender. If you know someone that lives in the city or lives with roommates, a lot of times if there's multiple people on the Wi-Fi, it is slower. So getting a Wi-Fi extender might be a really nice gift for them. I know that we had one in my college apartment and once we put the Wi-Fi extender in, it was a world of different with how fast our phones and computers will load. So if you know someone who has shoddy internet connection at their house, this is a great gift. And then we have a Polaroid Mini. Obviously, Polaroids are so much fun. They're super in. Um, every time I'm with my friends, someone brings one and we have all these tiny little memories to go home with. This is a really cute gift idea because not only does the Polaroid camera look really cute in your room, but it's also something fun to like use out with your friends and make memories with. And then we have Bala Bangles. My cousin got this for me for Polaroid. Anna last year, these two bangles, and I love them. I work out with them very often, especially with COVID and working out more at home. I have been incorporating these into my workouts all the time. They're super easy to transport. I like throw them in my car, and when I go back and forth from the shore, I will bring them back and forth. And there's a ton of exercises that you can do with these, and I personally love these so much. Then we have a fabric steamer. The fabric steamer that I linked is actually a wire, wire? I think it's wireless. It's portable. The steamer that I linked is portable and it's easy to travel with. I personally obviously do fashion blogging and you can't shoot wrinkly clothes, you know, that's not a vibe. So I always usually bring this when I'm traveling, especially because a lot of times at hotels and stuff, there's just irons and certain fabrics don't really respond well with irons. So um, I also think that fabric steamers are better for most fabrics of your clothes holding up wise. This is honestly a really great gift for anyone because if someone travels a lot for business and they have to bring suits and stuff like that, or if anyone works, literally anyone. No one wants to be wrinkly, okay? Just, yeah. Then we have a mug warmer. When I put this on my list, I was thinking of my mom because a lot of times in the morning she drinks her coffee slower, so she'll end up putting it in the microwave before she's finished the cup. And I was like, wow, like a mug warmer will be a good idea for her because she'll sit and watch like Kelly and Ryan in the morning and not finish her coffee and it gets cold. So this is a really good gift idea, I think, for a parent or someone that works at the office so that way they can keep the mug warmer on their desk and their coffee can stay warm all day. Then I have packing cubes. So a few months back, I've actually traveled a lot this year and I posted on my story like, please help me with packing tips because I am a horrendous packer. I overpack, I can never find anything, the whole nine yards. So many people came back to me and said packing cubes. So I decided to put these on here. Um, apparently, well, I haven't gotten them yet. Hopefully Santa will bring them, but I've heard that packing cubes literally change your life. And obviously I believe it because then you can section off different categories of clothing and keep like all your socks here, all your tops here. I linked a good one down below on Amazon. Okay. and. Then then a portable hammock. Um, I have one of these as well. I actually asked for this for Christmas a few years ago. I thought this would be really cool for like hanging out in a park with my friends or whatever. I think this is really good for someone who enjoys the outdoors, maybe someone that is into hiking, anyone that likes to read maybe even because that way they can take a hammock to a park and read outside. Sorry, I dropped my phone. Okay, and then I put on here a tortilla blanket. So I was looking on Amazon for good gifts and this one had so many reviews. So I was like, why not throw it on the list? It's something different. It's it's something that you probably were not expecting to see on here. And it's something that someone's probably not expecting to get. So if you want to do something a little bit on the funnier side and a little more unique, tortilla blanket, it is. Next, I have this mini skincare retro fridge. Obviously, you can put drinks in this or skincare. I would use it for skincare, but I think that it's really dope. And like a guy would like this as well for his dorm and he could throw a couple beers in there or a girl can keep her skincare in there. Um, I think that this style is the cutest that I've seen. Then I have a name now. Necklace. It's so funny because I literally never ever take my name necklace off. I had a shoot yesterday, so I did. But normally I wear my name necklace every single day without fail. Today I have a different stack on, but a name necklace is a really cute gift idea for a girl. It's like, or a guy. It's just something really subtle and classy and obviously very timeless because you're gonna
gonna have your name forever. Like, if you watch Sex and the City at all, you know, a little Carrie Bradshaw moment. Um, I think that these are really stylish and 90s and fun. All right, and then we have Himalayan salt shot glasses. These are really great for a tequila lover in your life. I have a few friends that are obsessed with tequila that this gift would be perfect for. I didn't know these existed and I saw them online and I was like, these are really cool. I have a Himalayan salt lamp in my room, not shot glasses, but I thought these were super cool. Then we have a journal. I linked the five minute journal. That is the most popular one that I've seen throughout the past few years. Personally, I just use a plain notebook, but I think this is a really nice way to introduce someone to journaling and mindfulness. And journaling is something that can really change someone's life. So I think this is a really, really great gift. You can never go wrong with a journal. But the five minute journal is also a really easy way to introduce journaling because it has prompts and it's not like you have to write anything too long or crazy. Then we have a fire stick or a Roku. I personally use my Roku in my room all the time. I only really watch Hulu and Netflix. This is great for a college student, anyone that has a TV in their room or anyone that maybe you got a streaming service for. And then you'll give this gift with that. Why can't I say this? And then you'll give this with that to the person you're giving a gift to. Mattress topper, okay. Mattress toppers literally are game changers. They're amazing. Everyone needs a mattress topper on top of their mattress. When I had my mattress topper on my mattress, I slept like a baby all the time. I love these. So next up we have a karaoke mic. I don't know if you can tell by my voice, but I am not much of a singer. However, I have a best friend who is obsessed with karaoke. Like her and her friends from school are genuinely, they do karaoke all the time. So I thought that this karaoke mic would be a really good party idea. It's cord List. you can bring it wherever and it looks like a ton of fun this is the one she has and i think it's so cute then we have a photo camera lens kit for the iphone i think this is really cute for anyone who's into photography and wants to experiment a little bit with that this kit comes with nine different lenses and it looks really awesome an electric toothbrush personally i don't have an electric toothbrush and i would love one i think that obviously our teeth are something that we have to take care of every day and it is very important so an electric toothbrush is a perfect gift to give your spouse or someone like that i would say phone case case defy is my go-to when it comes to phone cases i personally drop my phone no bullshit about three to four times a day like like ugly falls like ugly drops and my phone is in perfect condition knock on wood because of case defy any good case you're gonna be spending a little bit of money on and case defy rocks highly recommend okay the next thing on this list is colorful gel ink pens i write everything i do in color i write everything in color I write my planner in color. I write my journal in color. I've always done that. I've been writing with colorful pen slash markers since college and when I was taking notes and stuff for studying and I've always found it a lot more fun to use colors and it's just something that I never stopped doing. So every year I usually ask for a pack of colorful markers or pens because they get dried out throughout the year. From my pack that I've had for I think two years now, I don't have many left because I've used a lot of them up. I think this is a great gift idea for a college student who studies a lot or someone that journals or likes to write or really anyone because obviously everyone has things they need to write down throughout the day and it's just a little more fun and like upbeat to me than using a generic pen or pencil. And then we have a beach blanket. So obviously beach blanket, it's something that you use on the beach. However, if you are not located near a beach, I think that this is also great for a date night situation if you're doing like a hangout in bed of a truck or if you want to go to a park and just hang out with friends, have like a little lunch, um, if you want to sunbathe anywhere. I think having a nice beach blanket really comes in handy. In the summer, I always keep mine in my car, so regardless if I'm at the beach or at a park, I can just pull it right out. And I love that this one was super cool. Then I have luxury nail polish. So I've been wanting a Chanel nail polish forever now. I really, really don't know why. I just think that they look really cool. I want the black one. I think that this would be a really cool thing to throw in someone's stocking that they wouldn't be expecting. And if any woman in your life likes to paint her nails, obviously you can't get any better than Chanel. So I think this would be a really cute gift to get. And then we have a robe. I know, super basic, but I feel like Christmas is a really good time to revamp all your essentials that you use every day, as in robes, slippers, towels, even things that you use on the daily, but you don't really think about replacing as often as maybe you should. I know that getting a robe on Christmas morning is always like a cozy little surprise. There was a few years in a row where my mom got me a different robe and I really loved it. A face steamer. So if anyone on your list is really into skincare, a face steamer is so, so good for you. Not 
not only does it help unclog your pores and get dirt and everything out of your skin, but it helps really plump and hydrate your skin as well. I do not use mine near as much as I should, but I love having one. And this is a really nice little item to get someone so they can pamper themselves. A hair mask. I put this Olaplex hair mask on here because anyone that uses heat on their hair really should be doing things to replenish their hair as well. I bought this and I have seen a really big difference in it. So basically it's just a mask that you coat your hair in and you leave in for about 20 minutes, I think. And it's supposed to really shrink and rebuild your hair and I've seen a huge difference. So this brand rocks. A charging station. A charging station is great for anyone nowadays. Everyone almost has one or two forms of electronics that they could be charging at once. This is great to like keep on your nightstand or on your desk so you can keep all your electronics in the same place and just keep them charged over there. This is awesome just so you can charge your Apple Watch, your iPad, your phone, all in one shot. A bracelet charger. I had never seen one of these until I was on set with a makeup artist who had one and I was like, that is so awesome. Someone asked for a charger and she literally had like this bracelet on, just like popped it off and on the one side was the USB port and the other side was the part that sticks in your phone and I was like, that is so cool. So I had to link that for you guys. I thought that was awesome. I'm definitely gonna get one, I think, because like I said, with traveling, commuting to New York and back, I always have to be charging my phone and it's like a little bit stylish too. I really like the white and gold. I think that's the one that I linked. Hers was black, so they do have other colors too if you want a more masculine looking one, but I thought this was awesome. A cereal candle. I thought this was a little bit different than getting someone a traditional candle and I've seen a lot of influencers post this and it looks super fun and quirky and like a nice little aesthetic to add to your space. I think that these are really cute and I would love to get one for Christmas. Slippers. Like I said, on the same wavelength as the robe, slippers are a great gift to revamp for the holidays. I love a fresh pair of slippers and those are another thing that sometimes people let get it so beat up before they get a new pair. And that's like one thing I feel like you should keep fresh because it's to keep you comfortable, you know? So I love these little smiley face slippers. I think they're so, so cute and uh, these are my favorite, but I'll link a normal pair for you guys as well if you're more into that. Oh my gosh, and we're already at the last item on the list. I put a vintage crew neck. I thought this one from Etsy, the Nike one was super cool, gender neutral and trendy while also looking vintage. So I thought this was a really great option. I've seen a lot of people buy this this year and I think that it's really cool looking. Any guy or girl could get a lot of use out of this this year. All right guys, there we have it. That is 50 gift ideas under $50. If you like this video, like I said, please like and subscribe. Make sure to follow me on my other social channels. All the items we just talked about will be linked in the description box down below along with the blog post of all the items and make sure to check out my other YouTube videos for Christmas gift guides for him, her, and 25 under 25. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Happy holidays and I hope you have a safe, fun, and happy uh, Christmas Kwanzaa Hanukkah. <laughs> Bye guys. <laughs>